that was a tough fight and it was yeah. a split decision. Yeah. Did you, do you think you did enough to win? Absolutely. I think uh, what the deciding factor was, I think uh, Jason had a lot of pressure and really good uh, escape, you know, uh, passing my guard. But I think that every elbow I landed, every punch that I landed hurt him. I saw the bruises starting to go. I saw him start to bleed. And every time I hit him, I just felt him get a little softer and a little softer. And every time he hit me, I just got like, all right, let's do this. And I knew he didn't have that same mentality, but he was, he was, he did have good pressure. It seemed like he caught you with a good one late in the third and almost yeah. got that arm bar. Yeah. How close was he? It was close, but the, I, I just kept saying to myself, how bad do you want this? How bad do you want this? And I could feel that he wanted the same thing. And I was like, man, screw your hometown. I don't care. I'm getting this W. I'm getting this win. So. How did you feel about the whole process? I mean, coming in here to Halifax, obviously they were going to be behind Jason. Your first UFC fight, I mean, just kind of taking it all in right now of what the whole experience was like and probably anticipating that reaction to the decision being read. Yeah, you know, as soon as they said split decision, to be completely honest with you, I, I, I thought I lost. Not because I didn't think I won the fight, but when you're in somebody's home. If he was in Philly and they said split decision, I'm thinking, I got this. You know what I mean? But I feel like at the end, you know, everything's blurry after you fight, but I'm pretty sure I crushed him with a knee right at the end. And I felt him kind of get all, you know, deer-legged and, and kind of like wobbly. And uh, I think that won the fight. And I think we kept scrambling, and he just couldn't keep me down. And even when he kept me down, I was just elbow. I was looking at the ref and elbow and, and looking at the crowd and elbow. And it's like, he's just holding me here, and I'm trying to fight. Anything in particular maybe a, a, a surprised you with Jason? Obviously, a very accomplished submission game. But uh, having gone 15 minutes with him, is any anything you maybe didn't prepare for, didn't expect from him? Yeah. Uh, I didn't expect him to be quite as tough as he was, you know? When you see his interviews, he's a very calm guy. He loves yoga, which is, you know, that's good for some guys. And I'm the polar opposite of that. I'm like, you know, I just want to crush you. And he took some shots and gave them back, man, and, and fought his heart out. So I think his, his, his grit surprised me a little bit. You've never done yoga? I've done some yoga, but, you know. I don't think I talk about it as much as Jason does. Not a big thing down on the ranch with Donald? No, no we're, we're not doing any yoga at the ranch. We're hunting rattlesnakes and, uh, and doing other stupid stuff. Now, you mentioned that you trained with Donald and at altitude. Did that help you as this fight went? Man, let me tell you, I was exhausted. Just like everybody says when your first fight. Man, I was a cardio machine in camp. My friends and training partners would tell you, I do not get tired in training. That third round rolled around, and I was hurting. But guess what? I looked across the cage at him, and I stood up first. Anybody notice that? I stood up first every round. I ripped the ice off my chest, and I said, I'm getting up first. I'm going to look right at him. And what does he do? He gets up second. I was tired, but he got up second.